For the ones who get it done, the most important part is the one you need now. And the best partner is the one who can deliver. That's why millions of maintenance and repair pros trust Granger, Because we have professional-grade supplies for every industry, even hard-to-find products. And we have same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders. But most importantly, we have an unwavering commitment to help keep you up and running. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Officials say the 19 children and two teachers killed in a school shooting in Texas in the United States yesterday were barricaded in a single classroom by the gunman. Two teachers also died in the attack at Robb Elementary School in the town of Uvalde. More than a dozen others were injured. Now, US President Joe Biden has issued an emotional appeal for backbone and courage to confront America's gun lobby. The gunman, 18-year-old Salvador Ramos, was shot dead by police at the scene. We can go now to our correspondent, Simon Marks, who joins us from Washington, D.C. Simon, kia ora, good morning. I think maybe we should start with the press conference that has been held this morning. Um, pretty chaotic in parts. What's been said? Yeah, very chaotic. Well, Governor Greg Abbott of Texas, a man who has done nothing meaningful to implement any kind of gun control uh, legislation uh, in the Lone Star State, has provided more detail as to what happened in Uvalde yesterday. Uh, And he confirmed that the 18-year-old who assaulted the Robb Elementary School was indeed carrying an AR-15 military-grade assault rifle that is now increasingly the weapon of choice in these mass shooting atrocities all over the country. And he also revealed that while there had been no mental health warning pertaining to the gunman in this case, he had concluded that the attack on the Robb Elementary School was premeditated. As of this time, the only information that was known in advance was posted by the gunman on Facebook approximately 30 minutes before reaching the school. The first post was... To the point of, he said, I'm going to shoot my grandmother. The second post was, I shot my grandmother. The third post, maybe less than 15 minutes before arriving at the school, was, I'm going to shoot an elementary school. So that makes it apparent that the gunman didn't just uh, seek refuge on the off chance in the elementary school as he was being pursued in connection with the shooting of his grandmother, who remains in critical condition in hospital, Uh, but he had planned to go there. And after that, there were some real fireworks in the room. Beto O'Rourke, a former Democrat Texas congressman, uh, who is challenging Governor Abbott for the keys to the governor's mansion uh, this November in Texas, was in the room and walked right up to the stage and attempted directly to confront Governor Abbott. Excuse me. Sit down. You're out of of line and an embarrassment. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. And Beto O'Rourke did indeed then leave the auditorium and addressed reporters right outside it. Why are we letting this happen in this country? Why is this happening in this state? Year after year, city after city. This is on all of us if we do not do something, and I am going to do something, and I'm not alone. The people of Texas are with us. The majority of the people of Texas are with us, but we've got to stand up to this. So he's making it clear that in that race for the governor's mansion in Texas, he's now going to put gun control right at the heart of his campaign, but there were equally powerful voices being heard across Texas today supporting gun rights despite this attack. And, of course, the National Rifle Association is hosting its annual meeting this Friday in the Texas state uh, city of Houston and former President Donald Trump is the keynote speaker. And indeed I understand Greg Abbott and Ted Cruz, two of the people who were on the platform for that press conference, are also going to be speaking at the NRA. So where does all of this leave President Biden? He's expected to head to Texas. What further fallout is there likely to be? 
Well, I think the difficulty that President Biden finds himself in is that essentially, uh, you know, he returned uh, from Asia last night, having spent the last five days assuring uh, the outside world uh, that liberal democracy can still deliver on the fruits of freedoms for its people and stand up to autocracies like China and Russia. And yet the second he got off the plane, he found himself having to walk into the Roosevelt Room of the White House and say this to the American people. Why are we willing to live with this carnage? Why do we keep letting this happen? Where in God's name is our backbone to have the courage to deal with it and stand up to the lobbies? It's a time to turn this pain into action for every parent, for every citizen in this country. We have to make it clear to every elected official in this country, it's time to act. But despite the emotional power of that address, he offered not a single new legislative idea for uh, propelling the whole issue of gun control forward and overcoming uh, a political equation up on Capitol Hill that currently leaves gun control legislation in the United States absolutely dead and buried. Thank you very much. Simon Marks, our U.S. correspondent there at... Amazon delivery service partners are hiring full-time delivery drivers to meet growing customer demand. Receive compensation of at least $20 per hour at select stations, plus benefits, and a sign-on bonus of $1,000 from participating DSPs if you apply now. No delivery experience required. Must be 21 years or older. Terms apply. Apply today at amazon.com forward slash driver. That's amazon.com forward slash driver.